So oftentimes we find ourselves writing the same queries, you know, over and over again. Select everything from users, order, select top. Right. So then we close this. And then next time we have to write it again. Or we can save this. Find this in a nice location like temp or whatever. And save it. Then um, when we open it again, we lose our place, right? So this is kind of hard to use because there's no um, in uh, inner, um, Windows Explorer here. So a cool way to manage all your save files is to use template explorer so this guy right so out of the box this guy is like super confusing you have all these stuff that um, does all these crazy partition management things and all you want to do is to have your own kind of private um, line of scripts for whatever project you're doing right so the first thing to do is remove all this stuff right so you can go one by one and delete them or what you can do is to clear it from here all right um, this is in the user David oh, that's me app data roaming so this is hidden so you gotta make sure that's visible and so you can delete everything from here right. Right. so you gotta make sure you leave the other two files so it's gone now right so you would think it's gone from here, but it is not. Because every time you launch SSMS, it gets it from this global place. So you never really want to delete anything completely, right? So you can take this and put it into a you know, folder default. All right? So we can get all this stuff out of the way so we don't have to see them right and they're still available to us okay once we do that we go back into our um, template so it's cleaned out here so next time what we do is um, we close this we close everything and we relaunch SSMS and it should have the the templates back, right? So we go template explorer. So see how everything's gone now? So now you can create your own uh, set of templates, right? So we can uh, Go here and go new query and then select everything from users. So as you can imagine, uh, this can get very uh, complicated. So what you can do is now you can just say new template or actually new folder um, users and then you can create a new template. New template. Like for example, let's just say you want the latest. You can call this uh, new users, right? So you can do select top one. I know this is like super silly, just one line, but if you're constantly writing this all day long, it'll be nice to just not have to type, right? So you can next time you need this, all you have to do is just Go view, open templates, and voila, it's done for you, right? So another cool thing, I really like hotkeys. So I created my own hotkey, control alt T, that brings this up. And how do you create your own hotkeys? Go to tools, options, uh, text editor, or actually keyboard. And then you can go view dot template. Explorer, so then you all you have to do is just you know make up your hotkey. Control Alt T, that's the one I created. 
some uh, SSMS has a default, but I created this one. So um, there you go. So this is a nice way to not have one integrated system where you can have group, have almost like Windows Explorer to keep track of all your queries. And you still have the default one that's you know out of the box. You haven't lost any of these yet, so you still can use this. Okay, in my previous video, I showed you how to do control S. Actually, um, see how it's going to temp? So I can go um, change this right here to the location of my template. Let's see what I can do. All right, so this file, it, so if you go to C program file right here, this file ssms application package you can change the location see right now i got c temp so all i have to do is change this guy to the template folder right here for me change this to all right so save that and then next time I open this, I do a save as, it should show up. All right, so now I go open up the database, new query. So select everything from projects. All right. So I control S. You see how it takes me straight to the template? So I can just go all projects, right? So now you'll see it doesn't show up here right now, right? So what I need to do is close this. Next time when I open it, it will show up in my template. You see how all projects is right here. All I did was uh, did save save as, and it's right here. So it's pretty sick. So you know, to prevent this from happening, you guys probably know all this already. You you can add this. You use you know, the database name right here. All right.